see what's going on today. Yeah, this is uh, Operation uh, Night Stalker Fortress One. Uh, this is a combined IA uh, and coalition force uh, clearance of uh, palm groves surrounding uh, this IA cop, uh, Makisa. Uh, IA unit taking part is uh, 4th Company, uh, 20th Brigade, 5th Iraqi Army. Uh, what's been happening here, they've been doing a bunch of a series of clearance operations around this area. Uh, this is the town of Makisa. It's uh, used to be a AQI stronghold. It's now turned into where AQI has been uh, pushed out of the town's proper uh, by effort from uh, coalition forces, Iraqi army, and uh, the CLC or SOIZs, whatever the flavor of the month is for that naming convention. And uh, right now, the uh, what AQI does is they come out and they live in these palm groves, literally like, uh, you know, make little uh, huts and bunkers and tents inside these palm groves stage and cache weapons and uh, use that as a base to conduct attacks and terrorize and intimidate the people inside the towns. Um, what we've been doing is uh, this area over to our east over this direction here is where uh, a majority of the attacks have been coming from and a lot of the intelligence, uh, not just coalition force intelligence, but uh, the Iraqi army has developed quite a sophisticated network of intelligence pointing them to exact areas out in these palm groves. Uh, we're going to go be, uh, we're going to go out there and clear these areas. And uh, it's a joint, it's a joint effort on the Iraqi side. It's a joint effort of a whole entire Iraqi army company, CLC from three different towns, and Iraqi police uh, from another town as well. And uh, what coalition forces will bring bring to the fight uh, won't be on the tip of the spear on this one, which is a good thing. Uh, they're going to be uh, uh, this this Iraqi army unit is at one of the highest level ratings. And uh, it's time for them to be the tip of the spear, and this is a great uh, effort. And uh, their mid team has done a great job with these guys, and uh, and us as a uh, battery working with them, it, it makes it easier. Uh, what we'll be doing is uh, coalition force wise is supporting them with some blocking positions to help isolate the objective. Uh, we'll be providing uh, air weapons team uh, to control and support them, and we'll also be providing uh, explosive ordnance disposal support for them as well as well as uh, medevac capability here from their LZ. Could you uh, describe like a uh, professionalism of the IA? Uh, this IA company is extremely professional. These guys go out there and uh, it's every every other day I'm, uh, I'm they're, they're taking the lead out there without even any of our guidance. Uh, they're making uh, their own uh, plans and operations and going conducting them without us and that's great and highly encouraged. And they're coming back and really taking the fight to the enemy. And uh, almost every other day, I'm getting a report, or I have a patrol coming here. I'm coming here myself here, and from their commander, uh, you know, they had a, a guy wounded, or they uh, wounded or killed or captured uh, AQI almost on a daily basis, and, or captured caches on a daily basis. These guys are, these guys got it. They got the ball. They're running with it, and uh, they're taking the fight straight to the, the Al Qaeda out there in the palm groves. You would describe them as being eager to take on the absolutely. I've never. Uh, I, this is uh, this is a different experience for me, uh, seeing uh, Iraqi army units this capable before. Um, you, I think the biggest progress is you had a uh, area so terrorized and intimidated that people didn't want to be part of the members of the CLC, uh, and you've had in the past three or four months you've had people come out and openly support the CLC. You've driven them. You've driven AQI from these towns here. And uh, slowly, you know, with the Iraqi army, and slowly uh, we're going to drive them out of these palm groves so that we can start funneling in the services from the, uh, from the government of Iraq and helping facilitate that uh, with, uh, you know, with bringing in central services, fixing electricity, water, bringing in food, and, and then kind of jump-starting their economies again with micro-grants. But uh, there has been a, uh, a, lot, a lot of improvement. It's probably not the, uh, the touchy-feely kind uh, at this point. That everyone's used to of you know big markets opening it, but uh, it's a success in the story that you know we've 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 driven them out of the towns and now we're going to drive them out of the palm groves and degrade this network even further to stop intimidating the town. And uh, after that, you know all the other things will will fall into place and we'll facilitate and push those. Uh, the American units that are taking part in this operation are uh, two platoons from my battery, Charlie Battery Fire Squad, and two SCR. Uh, we have, we'll be having a, uh, we have a, attached to us for this operation, uh, explosive ordnance team, 
Uh, and then we also have uh, checking on station here shortly uh, air weapons team of uh, two Apaches that are going to be flying in support and uh, provide screening and uh, providing uh, area security for the Iraqi uh, Army Forces and uh, police and CLC out in, uh, making their movements in the palm groves. So primarily this is just Iraqis? Primarily this is just Iraqis. This is, yes. These, I mean. Yeah, these, uh, <clears throat> these can be casually uh, producing events. Uh, we hope not, but the last few, there's there's usually been uh, there's been a, a, a casualty or two. Uh, most of them are, are wounded, and it's difficult out in these palm groves because uh, you can only your field of view is is maybe 10 or 15 meters. It's so dense or thick, and so it's it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one fight out there, and uh, a lot of the technology can't come into play, and so you might get a few wounded. Uh, and we're prepared to support them with that uh, in every way, and they know that and they appreciate that. But uh, I think we'll see. Uh, I think we'll, we might, hopefully not, but uh, we might see a, a wounded or so, uh, hopefully an enemy, and uh, we should see quite a few detained here today as well.